Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at creating our first stop frame animation. We're going to be using Flash 8 for this tutorial. Um, and when you've opened up Flash, just click on Flash Document. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with this screen. Here is where you're going to be creating your animation. This is your canvas, this white area here. On the left hand side we've got our tools and in this tutorial we're going to be using the paintbrush, the rubber and the colour picker. Over here we've got our timeline. If you imagine your timeline like a flipbook, one of those flipbooks where you draw a picture on each page and when you flick it through it looks like the image is moving. Imagine each one of these frames is a page in your flipbook. We're going to be drawing on each one of these frames a slightly different image to create our very first stop frame animation. So let's get started. I'm going to click on the paintbrush, I'm going to choose the colour black and I'm going to just change the size of my paintbrush. And I'm going to draw a basic stick man. Okay. So here's my stick man. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it ever so slightly for the next frame. So I'm going to press Oh, click on this fr second frame and press F6. That makes a direct copy of the previous frame. Making sure I'm on the second frame, I'm going to select the rubber and I'm going to just rub out part of his arm. I'm then going to get my paintbrush again and click on the onion skin tool so I can see what the previous frame looked like and I can see that the previous frame, the arm was up here and what I want to do is just move the arm over here. I've now got two frames which are slightly different uh, and it creates a waving man. If I want to run it, I press Ctrl and Enter, and I can see that my man is waving. That's a very basic stop frame animation. I can then enhance this by um, adding some more features into here. So what I'm going to do is just double click on layer 1 and rename that to Dude 1. I'm then going to create another layer, and I'm going to call this Blinky. On the Blinky layer, um, I'm going to draw a face. But to make sure I don't accidentally draw on the Dude 1 layer, I'm just going to lock the Dude 1 layer by clicking on that little black dot. That makes sure I can't edit anything on that frame. As you can see from my mouse, there's a little, um, well it's like the no entry sign saying you can't do anything on that layer. So anyway, I'm going to click on this layer and I'm just going to draw a face. Um, there we go. Oops. Now, what I want to do is um, just move that face because this is Blinky and what's going to happen to Blinky is he's going to get poked in the eye. He's not poked there but he is poked there so what I want to do is just go onto the second frame and press F6. That makes a copy of that frame. I'm then going to get my paintbrush again and just cause him to have a bit of a wince so I'm going to make a small paintbrush so now it looks like he's been smacked in the, the face what we can do on the first frame is just click on that mouth maybe rotate it round at the moment he's happy but then he's sad if I run it I can then have that image there What's always a good idea is that you always have a different layer for different things you draw. If you've got one character, make sure it's on one, uh, one layer. If you've got another character, make sure it's on another layer. If you've got a background, make sure that's on its own layer. A good tip as well is to always lock your frames when you're not working on them. That way you always know that you're working on the correct layer and you're not likely to make any mistakes. So that's it. That's your first stop frame animation. Well done.